setting up and using the Aircast Cryocuff Gravity is easy. Let's walk through the steps together. You'll want to start by preparing the cooler before you apply the cryocuff. First, connect the blue tube to the cooler. Next, fill the cooler with cold water up to the line inside it. Then add ice. For a 6 to 8 hour treatment, add ice to the top of the cooler. Lay the insulation disc on the top of the ice and attach the lid. Be sure it's snug. Give it a couple of shakes and allow five minutes for it to chill. The Aircast Cryocuff Gravity Unit is designed to work with the Aircast Cryocuffs only. Only use the Aircast Cryocuff with it. Be sure to carefully and completely read the instructions for your specific cryocuff before applying it. All cryocuffs should be applied only when they are completely empty. Sensitivity and susceptibility to cold varies for each person, so remember to frequently observe your skin. Cryotherapy should not be used in persons with Raynaud's or other vasospastic disease, or persons with cold hypersensitivity, decreased skin sensitivity, or compromised local circulation. Remember, only apply the knee cryocuff when it is empty. Lay the cuff on the front of your knee and secure the top strap so it's snug but not tight. Adjust the front opening so the cuff conforms to your slightly flexed knee. Your kneecap should appear through the opening. Secure the bottom strap loosely. Don't stretch the elastic. If you are using your knee cryocuff during continuous passive motion therapy or CPM, keep the bottom strap very loose. Do not use an elastic wrap in conjunction with the cryocuff and ensure that any dressings under the cryocuff are applied lightly. To fill your cuff, connect the blue tube to the cryocuff like so. You should hear a slight click, indicating a secure connection. Open the air vent on the cooler lid. Next, raise the cooler no higher than 15 inches above the cuff for approximately 30 seconds until it fills. Now, close the air vent on the cooler lid and disconnect the cooler from the cuff by pressing the metal tab on the quick disconnect while the cooler is raised. If using the auto chill system, keep the cooler connected to the cuff. While using the unit, remember never to raise the cooler higher than 15 inches above the cryo cuff, as this can cause excessive pressure. Reduce pressure in the cuff if you experience any sense of discomfort, numbness, or tingling. At first, re-chill the water in the cuff after 15 or 30 minutes, then once an hour as needed. Start by reconnecting the blue tube to the cuff. Open the vent and then lower the cooler below the cuff like so. Let the warmed water drain into the cooler and allow a minute or two for the water to mix with the ice and re-chill. Then, raise the cooler above the cuff and repeat the filling process. Prior to refilling and after each use, empty the cryocuff. Rechilling your water is easy with the auto chill. It automatically exchanges water from the cooler to the aircast cryocuff. To use the auto chill, place the cooler on a bed or table, keeping the base of the cooler even with the bottom of the cuff. Remember not to raise the cooler above the cuff when using the auto chill system. Connect the clear air tube from the pump to the cooler lid with the check valve at the cooler end. Then connect the power cord to the bottom of the pump. Now plug in the wall adapter and set the pump power switch. If your bandages or dressings become moist or wet during the use of the auto chill system, discontinue use and contact your healthcare professional immediately. To replace the ice when using the auto chill, turn off the pump and unplug the wall adapter. 
Disconnect the clear air tube from the cooler and disconnect the blue tube from the cryo cuff by pressing the metal tab on the quick disconnect. Open the cooler and pour out the water. Now you are ready to refill, pressurize, position and reconnect as you have previously. When using the Aircast CryoCuff Cold Therapy System, please consider the following. Do not use an elastic wrap with the CryoCuff gravity. Dressings used under the CryoCuff should be applied lightly. When filling the CryoCuff gravity, do not raise the cooler higher than 15 inches or 38 centimeters above the CryoCuff to avoid excessive pressure. Reduce pressure with any sense of discomfort, numbness, or tingling of the limb. Empty the cryocuff after each use and prior to refilling. Patient skin condition checks must 